In this video, learn how to start a career as a claims adjuster. Can you work from home? How much can you make? And what are the first steps? Starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV, adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV and by Paysetter Claim Service. Download the remote work guide at adjustertv.com slash paysetter and by Adjuster TV Plus. Advanced scoping and estimating training videos for independent adjusters. Ride along with us at adjustertvplus.com. Hey, Matt here. Welcome to Adjuster TV, where we help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. My favorite comment from our latest breaking news hailstorm video comes from Brandon, who says, love this video. As I'm watching, I'm literally in Minnesota right now on this deployment. Sounds like Brandon got in on the action on the recent major hail and windstorms in the upper Midwest in the past couple of weeks. And that's what we're here to talk about, property claims adjusters. Guys like me and Brandon get called to work natural disasters, big and small, and we travel around the country inspecting storm damage and writing estimates for insurance companies. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's a great gig, and I myself did it for 20 years before I hung up my cougar paws to work full-time on adjuster TV. I haven't run claims in every single state, but quite a few of them. Even though what people typically think of as natural disasters are hurricanes and wildfires, there are usually dozens of smaller storms in the Midwest that produce large damaging hail and high winds, including tornadoes. But in order for independent adjusters to be activated, those storms have to hit areas with lots of houses and structures that can be damaged or crops, but that's another video. Once all the claims from that particular storm or event are taken care of, they send us home to wait for the next storm. So while you may have heard on social media or even on this channel that this person or that person made a giant pile of money on Hurricane Ida or Irma, the thing that keeps food on the table for most working independent property adjusters is going to be Midwestern spring and summer storms. So what is an independent adjuster? Well, we don't work directly for an insurance company and we often work for a different insurance company on each storm event. We get paid by the claim and we can get paid more the bigger the claim is, which means we have two main incentives. Number one, to close as many high quality claims as possible and two, to make sure we find all the insurable damage on a particular claim. That's the main thing that separates us from an adjuster who is an employee of an insurance company. That is one who gets a salary and a company car and has few other incentives to produce a lot of closed claims. We work on volume. We can also work temporary assignments from big claim centers where desk adjusters and call center people work side by side. And we can even work from home on remote assignments, whether we're writing up the claims that a field adjuster inspected or we're reviewing the work of other adjusters to make sure that they've dotted their I's and crossed their T's. So how much can you make as an independent adjuster? Well, that can vary considerably based on what type of work you're doing, how well you can do that work, and how quickly you can get it all done. But once an adjuster gets past their first few storm deployments, when they really get their feet under them, if they work hard and make themselves available for as many deployments as possible, they can expect to bring in at least sixty to $70,000 a year. From there, the sky really is the limit. Many experienced independent property claims adjusters bring in at least twice that on average every single year. And keep in mind what I mentioned at the beginning of this video. We work mainly during storm season, which is generally May through October, about six months. The rest of the year is yours. Not a bad gig. Now, all that said, storm adjusters work just about every day of that six months. So it's not like you're working a nine to five and getting paid just to show up. It takes grit and determination to make this career worth it. And you kind of have to like people as well. If you're in it just for the money, you might do well, but your customers are probably going to suffer. All that said, we at Adjuster TV have created a complete totally free guide for how to start adjusting claims. In this Adjuster TV exclusive series, you'll go from scratching your head about how to get started as an independent property adjuster to being armed with a proven roadmap for becoming a busy working IA without the wheel spinning and expensive detours and dead ends. This is a wide and deep field with many, many opportunities that can provide you with the chance to help people in their time of crisis and need and also let you build an uncommonly rewarding career. 
Here's how this training plays out. In the introduction, you're gonna learn exactly what an independent adjuster is and what it isn't, as well as the different types of adjusters and career opportunities for independent claims professionals. Next, in lesson one, you'll learn how to get claims experience immediately, how to start making money right now, and when to quit your current day job. Also, we'll talk about how much getting started as an IA might cost you in real dollars and cents. And in lesson two, learn all about adjuster licensing, including what a license is and why you need more than one, which licenses to get first, how to get licenses, including what pre-licensing is, what the heck is reciprocity, and what to do if you have a boo-boo on your criminal record. And finally, we'll talk about the special case of the California adjuster license. And in lesson three, you'll learn about the estimating software that we use as adjuster. There are more than one. Learn how to build your skill in these estimating software platforms so that when you do finally get claims in your hands, you're not fumbling around trying to remember how to do stuff in the software. Next in lesson four, you'll get a high level overview of what construction, scoping, damage identification, property insurance policies, and estimating are, and you'll learn how they go together as part of the overall claims process. And then in lesson five, learn about critical hands-on training and certifications that the companies who are going to give you work value the most. And not only that, but how those certifications will help you be a better, faster adjuster in the field, which will ultimately help your career in the long run. Then in lesson six, most of the adjusters I know are big gearheads. We like the gadgets and the lasers and the holsters and all that stuff. Learn the essential gear for handling field property claims. You might be surprised by what's not on this list. And then finally, in lesson seven, you'll put it all together into an action plan that you can execute right now. Follow along in the Road to the Storm PDF guide book and checklist. And because this is Adjuster TV, this entire mini course is video. We do not do sleepy slideshows on Adjuster TV. And you can access the entire thing right now by going to adjustertv.com slash start and signing up. It literally takes seconds and you'll be watching the first video. But before I let you go, I'll leave you with the words of one of our many students, Emily, who's become an experienced adjuster herself. She says, I had a great season last year, thanks to all your great training. I primarily worked with Crawford and really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for providing all this incredible training and information. It is gold. So check it out at adjustertv.com slash start. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Adjuster TV. You either love us or you're wrong.